Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you need to perform a median if calculation. Now you've probably worked out that there is no such function, but there are ways of performing the calculation. In fact, I'm going to look at three methods. First method uses the filter function and that's available in Excel 365. The second method uses the if function and that's available in all versions of Excel. And the third method uses a pivot table, but uses the data model within the pivot table. Okay, let's start with the first method. So in our first scenario, we're going to use one condition in our median if calculation. And the condition is going to be based on the branch. We are going to calculate the median age of our customers within our two branches. So I start off with filter. Now the array is the range of values that you want to return using your filter function. So for us, that's this age column, comma. And in the include argument, you've got to specify your criteria. So our criteria is based on the branch column and the values in that branch column need to equal the value that we're storing here in column F. Now if I close the bracket and press enter, you can see that it returns all of the ages for our customers in the Southern branch. Now to make that obvious, I'll just sort this data. So you can see those values being returned there. So now all I need to do is find the median of these values. So I would nest this filter function within the median function. Now, if I want to copy this formula down to this cell, I'm going to need to lock these range references here. So I've selected those range references and I'm pressing F4 on my keyboard. If you're on a laptop and F4 doesn't work, try holding down the FN key whilst pressing F4. And if that doesn't work, just type the dollars in as you see them there. So now I can copy this formula down. So let's check if these answers are right. If I select the ages of the customers in the Eastern branch. I'll copy them and paste them down here. And let's see what the median of these values is. So you can see that corresponds with our answer up there. Now you may have more than one condition that you want to base your median calculation on, and we can still use the filter function to do this. So our array is once again, the ages of our customers, comma, include. Now include, we'll need to include two criteria. So when that's the case, when you've got two or more criteria, each criteria needs to go within brackets. So my first criteria would be that the branch equals the branch that I've specified here. Then I'd close the bracket and then I'd enter a multiply symbol. Then I'd open another set of brackets. I would need to specify that the gender, the gender in column C is equal to the gender that I'm specifying in J2. So I close the bracket there for that criteria and then for filter. So that's returning the ages of the male customers in the Southern branch. So if I want to find the median age of those customers, I just nest the filter function within the median function. Now, to be able to copy this formula across to column K, I'm going to need to lock these references. So the array reference needs to be locked. The reference to the branch column needs to be locked. And so does this reference to our criteria for the branch. And the reference to the male female column also needs to be locked. J2 doesn't need to be locked because as we copy the formula across, we want to refer to K2. Okay, so that's the first method using the filter function with the median function. Now, if you don't have Office 365, you're not gonna have the filter function. So you're going to need to use the if function. So let's see how that works, equals if. So for our logical test, we're gonna say that the branches in column B 
need to equal the branch that we're storing here in column F. Now, if that's true, we want to return the age in column D and we close the bracket. Then what you would do is you'd nest the if function within the median function. Now, if you're not in Excel 365, you're going to need to use a special key combination to confirm this formula. So if you just press enter at this point, the formula will not work. Instead, what you've got to do is use control shift enter. And what that does is put brace brackets around the formula. Now, if I edit this formula, and the edit I'm going to make is to lock these range references so I can copy the formula down. I must remember to use Control Shift Enter after that edit. So that's the only downside of using this method is that Control Shift Enter has to be used every time you make an edit in this formula. If you don't, the formula won't work. So now I can copy this down and it works for the Eastern branch as well. Now, if you have multiple criteria, you can also use the same method. What you're going to have to do is create a nested if formula. So my first test would be, is the branch equal to the branch that I've specified here, comma, but my value of true would be another if. Now with this if, I'm going to say, is the gender equal to the value I'm storing up here? And the value of true for this nested if is going to be the values in the age column. Now I close the bracket for the nested if, and then for the original if, and then all I need to do is nest the nested if within the median function. Now to copy this across to this column, I'm going to need to lock some cell references. So I need to lock this range reference. I need to lock this reference to the branch. I need to lock the reference to the gender column, but not to J2, because as we copy the formula across, we want to refer to the value in K2, but I do need to lock the reference to the age column. Okay, so with the third method, we're going to use a pivot table. So I'm gonna click somewhere in the data. I'm gonna to go to the insert tab on the ribbon. I'm going to click on this pivot table button. I want to place the pivot table on this sheet. And I must tick this option, add this data to the data model. If you don't see that option in your version of Excel, then unfortunately, this method will not be available for you. Click on OK. Now, I want the branches as my row headings. I don't need grand total, so I'm going to turn those off. And I want male, female as my column headings. Now, what I have to do is go over to here where I can see the field list. And I'm going to right click on this range table here. And I'm going to select add measure. Now, I need to give the measure a name. I'll call it median age. And then I need to click down into this formula box and click on the FX button. I need to scroll through this list until I see median. Select it and then click on OK. And then I need to select which field I'm performing this median calculation on. And that's the age column. I need to close the bracket. And then all I need to do is click on OK. So then this median age calculation appears in my field list. If I tick it, then the calculations are performed within my pivot table. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.